My name is Debbie Lee Mishanis, and my process is really very research and analysis and then intuitive oriented. So with the process exhibition, what happened first of all was the observation for me. So 2017 I'd gotten together for coffee with a fellow alumnus. We graduated the same year, we were about the same age, and we had both arrived at the same sort of creative rev um, revolution. No creative revelation at about the same time and we shared them and it was just really interesting to me that we had both uh, come to this revelation at the same time and so I wondered to myself I wonder if there is like a certain age that this would be attached to these certain creative stages that you or revelations you might come to or if it was like a time-based thing that you know at a certain point in time after you've gone through uh, beginning of your creative journey you would arrive at certain milestones so for me this was like super interesting and it was something I wanted to investigate more and I mean really why would you want to investigate that who wouldn't want to know what might come next and if you can kind of start predicting things uh, where do you'll get where right so with the exhibition process we had five artists and we had like a 20 year age span among us. We had various different uh, socially constructed identities, backgrounds, experience levels, all of these things in these systems. Uh, but at the same time, we had all gone to college at about the same time. We had all gone to uh, art education between 2004 and 2008, graduating the same year. So I thought, well, this is just like a wonderful laboratory to explore this idea and uh, see if I could figure some things out from it. So I approached my collaborative project as basically a research uh, piece. And I brought a journal which I had all of the artists uh, contribute to their life journeys. So when I got this back, I had this wonderful research, all this research, but how to make sense of it. Fortunately, I had happened across some writing by um, Michelle and Robert Root Bernstein, Life Stages of Creativity. And this was really uh, good for me because they had done a lot of the research already and sort of synthesized this into sort of a three-stage process that went across creativity for many different kinds of um, fields, right? From science, mathematics, music, literature, all of these sorts of things. So I could really use that as a framework to analyze the journal. So then I was looking at that and I was able to move on to sort of my next stage, which is synthesis or um, intuition, where I can kind of take what I've learned, all the little bits and pieces of information, and make sense of them, and then extrapolate outward into a work of art. And what I came to was this uh, conclusion that there's actually four stages in the creative lifespan of a visual artist that include incubation, that's everything before you actually decide to commit to really getting into this field and learning about this practice. Then there's the challenge stage. So for us, that would be embodied by the start of our uh, art education, but um, it doesn't necessarily mean that you've enrolled in a formal education, you've just really immersed yourself in this place, in this thing. Uh, and at this point in time, you're sort of really challenging yourself, right? You're trying to prove to other people that you know what you're doing or prove to yourself that you know what you're doing or that you can make things that are acceptable or that are not acceptable or whatever it is that you feel are the hallmarks of uh, being part of this new field. And then in the fourth stage, I think that's when you really sort of find your voice because you're not trying to um, prove anything to anyone anymore. You're just kind of trying to say what you need to say, what you see out in the world, or you don't see out in the world, you're putting it out there because you need to see it. And then in the fourth stage, and this one is really like an extrapolation for me, and I owe this one for the most part to the uh, Bernstein, Ruth Bernstein literature, because I'm not there, and no one in my group is there yet, which leads me to believe that it's like basically a time-based thing, not an age-based thing, 10 years from the outset of education is perhaps when you realize that you can ex you just need to make things to make things to express your own requirements uh, and that would be refinement so really you were already saying what you need to say you're just saying it more saying it better finding the best way to say it so what that led me to is to uh, do my own individual pieces for the show 
as an interpretation of that text, my own creative journey.